Hi hey guys, so it's Boxing Day, which is why I'm wearing this uh, wonderful Christmas uh, jumper. You can see the uh, snowflakes on there and everything. Um, I've just come out to the greenhouse and I just wanted to put together the vertical growing system. So I've been thinking about this for a while and I've uh, been messing around with some parts. So today I thought I'd put the vertical growing system together, just show you how it's done. Really quite simple, only take a couple of hours to, to do and um, just something to do on Boxing Day while everyone else is playing with their Christmas presents and uh, you've got some time on your hands. Alright, let me show you what we're doing. So the first thing I've done is I've just put some pipe at the top of the frame that I've built and off that pipe I've just got some drippers that come through with some square guttering brackets. So each one of these is coming through a little square bracket and that's where the guttering is going to go into. And it's just on a frame, very simple uh, timber frame um, nice and simple and it's got a little bucket at the bottom there which at the moment this has got water in just to test this but you can set this up and you can use it for hack, uh, hydro hydroponics or you can use it for aquaponics either way uh, it should work lovely so it's just a very simple frame it's just got some uh, some legs on either side there um, and some braces and the connectors so the first thing to do is to put on the guttering and that's going to collect the water so it's important just to set everything from the guttering collection and that's just got to have a slope on it so we've just put some wood on there to attach it to and you can just see the bubbles leaning slightly from left to right so it just means that the water's going to run down in the guttering and this is going to go down into the collection bucket there and the water's going to cycle around with the pump in there I've attached a downpipe as the guttering system so the reason for that is twofold. One is it's nice and easy to attach, and secondly, it also keeps it completely covered so there's no light getting in there, so there should be no algae build up to the water as it runs away. So what I've done there is I've just drilled two inch holes all the way along each of the ones where I'm gonna have a vertical growing pipe coming into it, and the water's gonna feed in, it's gonna drip into the, the down pipe, and it's just gonna come down to the end, and then it'll just fall back into the container there it's got the water and I've got the pump in there. After the collection guttering's on, the next thing to do is to put another piece of wood on and attach the clips. And the clips at the bottom there, they are to hold the square downpipe connectors that the vertical growing system just falls into. And let me show you how they're made. The downpipe connectors are quite simply just a square to round converter common garden off the shelf converter so it's some square down pipe going into a round down pipe and then it's just the straight connectors for the mini down pipe so the two inch down pipe so just put a little bit of tape around the top a bit of plumber's tape around the top and then you'll see that quite simply that will fit inside there and we can push it all the way up till it's snug and when you push it up to this all the way up and it's snug then you'll see that the tape just sits around the top there and it just stops anything um, from leaking at the top and it's got a good seal and then just a little bit of the smaller pipe sticks out through the bottom so you've literally got um, a square pipe into a round pipe and then that converts into a slightly smaller pipe which happens to be a two inch diameter there and then that can go into the holes that you've drilled into the drainage down pipe so the next thing to do is just to make up uh, 12 of these because we've got 12 connectors, 12 holes and then just each one literally just drops into the bracket and then you can see that the pipe itself just goes into the downpipe. So the pipe goes into here, water runs down and it will run inside the converter into the round and then into the smaller one and then that goes into the drain pipe we've then got as our drainage and then the water will then soak away and it will recycle around in the system that we've got with the pump. And to make our vertical growing containers it's really quite straightforward we just get a bit of square down pipe um, and this one I think they're um, about a metre long uh, nice and simple just cut it to the, the length you need depending on the size of the frame that you've made and then all we're going to do is we're going to cut a slit along the front and if we do two cuts across the front, you'll just open it up and there'll be a nice opening along there. So once you've cut along the front, done two slits along there, and you throw away the piece in the middle, 
you're then left with an opening that's probably about a quarter inch to half inch wide depending on how far you do it now, it doesn't really matter just as long as that it's wide enough for you to put the um, seedlings in there and wide enough for them to to grow out and by cutting in there it just means that it won't pinch against the seedlings as they're planted in there once you've cut the opening on the front of your square downpipe, you just need something in there, some growing media. So all I've used here is just some matting that's used as a filtration system for foie ponds. And I've just taken a strip of that, literally just cut it to the same size width as my downpipe. Um, and then I've just folded it in half. So it's just a V shape there. So as it's folded in half, it's nice and simple then just to get the guttering and just feed it in from the top. And as you feed it in there, you can see that you've then got some media to put your seedlings into. So you can open this up and you can pop the seedlings, the seedlings into there before hanging it up. Or what you can do is you can lay your seedlings in on here before you close it up so they're trapped in. And as they're trapped in, you can then feed them into the top of your vertical pipe ready for hanging up in the grow system. So when your connector's in the bottom there and it's all square and ready to go into the downpipe and you put your bracket at the top and quite simply you take your vertical growing tower with the media in there and you just slide that through the top and then once that's in the top, you then take the bottom and you slide that into the square connector at the base. And then that is all ready to go. So either plant that before you hang it or hang it out and then plant into the media. And once you turn your water on, that cycle around, the water will drip down each of your vertical grow pipes and then just drain away and go round and round. So here's the rest of the ones and I'll just fit them now. By the time you put it all together, what you've got then is a nice vertical growing system just using parts from your local DIY store with a square downpipe going into the round downpipe with the connectors and then circling all the way around. So each one of these drippers then has the water coming down into your vertical growing and you'll come down into the downpipe that's used there as the guttering system going to the end and then you'll see it just drains back into the container and it's pumped back round again and that is a very easy to make and cheap probably cost you 100 150 pounds in parts from the local DIY store with the guttering, the timber and all the connectors and you'll be able to grow about 150 plants, 100 to 150 plants depending on how compact you make it in an area which is probably two, two and a half meters long by as wide as you need it. So it probably needs to be uh, 50 centimeters wide if you have it up against the wall or about a metre wide if you've got to understand in the greenhouse like I have here. Alright, thanks very much guys.